Hey Dave, I've really been getting into pattern matching inside of C Sharp. And someone told me that there's this thing called tuple pattern matching that allows you to create some really interesting scenarios. Could you show me how that works? I'd love to, Cecil. I'm super excited by the advancements of C Sharp recently and uh, specifically tuple pattern matching in the context of a switch expression. So we have a uh, rock, paper, scissors function. You may be familiar with the game. Uh, we're going to require two parameters, a string for the first and a string for the second. So imagine you're playing that and you're throwing down you know, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, then we can express this function as uh, the tuple that we'll switch on, so first and second. And we have tuple literals for each of these individual case labels that are expressed as the corresponding result of that game. So when it's rock versus paper, paper wins because rock is covered by paper. When it's rock versus scissors, rock's gonna win because rock breaks scissors, and so on and so forth. Otherwise, we have a tie. And then we have, uh, we actually have a little helper function here that kind of demonstrates calling right line and exercising the game of rock, paper, scissors, given a few examples to show what that would actually look like when it's ran. Nice. And you know, I'm actually a really big fan of tuples because it's a really interesting way to return or pass around multiple values. And I love how that syntax allows you to compare them, you know, you know, based on all the different permutations of what it could possibly have. Absolutely. That's what I love about it too. So when we look at switch expressions with tuple pattern matching, we can see that with our first one where scissors and rock are thrown, rock wins because scissors is broken by rock. Otherwise, when it's rock and rock, for example, it's a tie. And when paper is thrown and scissors is thrown, scissors is going to win because paper is cut by scissors. Nice. I really love this demo because like, you know, again, I think tuples are just so powerful, but then also I'm a big fan of rock, paper, scissors because I play with my son all the time. So I'm definitely going to borrow your code and play <laughs> with my son and see how he feels about it. Awesome. Nice. And if you all liked what you've seen so far too, make sure you check out the link in the descriptions below where you can learn a little bit more about tuple pattern matching.